hey, what's up? It's the tree. Um, today I got a letter and it says, um, a donation, it says, you know, you know how you get all that fake lottery stuff in the internet, you know, the spam, and it says you won the lottery and all that stuff. Um, actually one time when I first started using the internet, I got one of those fake lotteries and I thought I won for like three days. I was like already going to build my temple of the Holy Mother and heal and take care of people and totally use it to take care of the world. But then I got a letter that said that I was, that they selected me, um, out of 10 individuals wor worldwide from somebody who won um, $11.3 million and then it gave me their name and that they says they voluntarily decided to donate to me $500,000 to me as part of a charity program that they picked for 10 lucky individuals and then it says that I could verify this by visiting a web page and then I'm not going to say the name. And then they gave me a, a secret code, a code too. And then I visited the web cage, web the web cage. I did, visited the web page, and then it said um, that uh, CBS News or whatever. It showed th this elderly cuddle, elderly couple won all this money, and that they were going to give it to charity. And um, so it was like covered, like by the news and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not going to say exactly. Who, or whatever, but CBS, CBS News, and it says that um, it's attracting international attention, and um, they put over $11 million in the bank, and then they have made good on a promise to help other people as they gave most of their winnings to local charities. They didn't spend any of their money on themselves because they don't have anything they need. Um, and then they have surgery and cancer and they're not feeling very good and that they're sick. But they're fortunate. Um, but said so we made, they made the donations and it really helped them feel better. Um, they, they won't talk about how much each organization or person that they gave it to, but it estimated they gave up to about 98% of their world win of their winnings, but it has their names and everything, and then it's the same name on the email. But they said they couldn't help their health problems with the money, and so they, with the money out of the way, they're spending more time on their recovery. But they're sick and they have cancer. Um, she says that she's never been so down and out. She's feeling a little bit better, but her and her husband are both dying of cancer, and they're sick. And um, but they gave me like a code, and then said that the code, if I, um, anybody that tried to claim the money without that code or that wasn't the right person, that they would be, um, they would face full action of anti-fraud from the, you know, in other words, pressing charges if anybody tried to like reply and say that, that they weren't me. But they said that they, but they sent it to me, and then I checked the paper and everything, and found out that they really did win the lottery, and that they really did donate it to charity, and said that they chose me out of ten individuals because they gave most of it to charity, except they picked out ten people worldwide, and um, decided to donate to me five hundred thousand dollars. But things usually are never too good, or they're always too good to be true. I mean. I mean, but if that did happen, though, and it was real, the first thing I would do would be, um, um, well, I want to build, like, a temple of a holy mother, like a, sh like a, sh like a place where people can come be and be healed for free, you know, like, to have, um, <sighs> just, like, it, it would totally be, I would use it to be the earth mother. I mean, uh, well, I wonder if it's true and real.